For the next six days, I will be exploring and fishing Michigan's Upper Peninsula, which is truly a place like no other, and I am blessed to have such an incredible environment right in my home state. So I hope you all enjoy the series I like to call True North. Now this was the first day of being up here in the UP, and Chris and I had no idea what we were going to do. But we had seen a video of a few people catching some fish like steelhead right off the surf at the mouth of a river on Lake Superior. So after seeing this video, we just picked the closest river mouth that we could find and decided to head out there and give it a try. Uh, guys, this is by far the like top five best moments of my entire life. Like, look, this is just insane. I can't even believe what's going on right now. Well, this guy over here is catching freaking steelhead out here all the time. That's I don't even I just can't even like believe that, dude. That's insane. But I can't even describe like everything I'm seeing right now. This is just this is literally a dream. I I don't even know what's going on right now. I feel like I'm in Florida right now, but it's freezing. That's the difference. We may not have caught anything at this spot, but I was already instantly hooked. Surf casting Lake Superior had to be the coolest type of fishing I have ever done in my entire life. So we were definitely not done with that. And also the dude that was there before us told us that he caught two steelhead that morning. So we knew they were fishing the area. But later in the evening, we went to try another spot surf casting off the shore where it was like a hundred plus foot drop off right next to the bank. And people have noted to catch everything there, like lake trout, coho, splake, you name it. Oh my gosh, I have a fish. I have a fish right now. I, on the spoon, first cast with the spoon. What is it, dude? Oh my goodness, what do I have? I felt a big old thud. Dude, what do I, is it a pike? Oh, monster pike. Dude, let's go! <laughs> no way! Oh my gosh, dude! Controlling that edge. Yes, dude! Oh my goodness, we actually got a fish that isn't a two-inch smallmouth. Look at that absolute unit of a northern right there. That I'll say that's my first ever superior fish. Just jigging off this like a hundred and some foot drop off. This guy crushed the spoon, absolutely choked it. But that is. One of the coolest catches I think I've ever had. I, I don't even know what just happened. Using my, that's actually my first ever cut. Oh, whoa. First ever catch on that musky rod I just bought, but dude, that is wild. Hopefully we can get some more, maybe a laker, anything really, but that's so sick. Oh. <laughs> All right, he wanted to go. Dude, that is so sick. I don't even know what's going on right now. You say the other point over there? To try? That's second one. Second one? Yeah. Well guys, just taking this all in right here. Uh, I don't even know what just happened. Met a DNR officer, coolest guy ever, Jack, if you're watching this. Big shout out to my boy. But he was super shocked that we caught a pike over there. He's like, I, I, he's confused how we haven't caught a, like a lake trout or salmon yet. And he's like, I don't even know how you catch a pike there, but I did. So that's just something I do, catch things that are in places they shouldn't be. But that was a really dope catch though. I would definitely take it. Hopefully we can jig up a salmon, lake trout or brook. I don't even know what they have up here, but all I know is they don't have them where I am in Michigan. So that's what we're trying to catch. Something that isn't in Southeast Michigan. But so far, we've done nothing but catch fish that are in Southeast Michigan. <sighs> it's chrome time. We're gonna cast for some steelhead or coho or I don't even know. There's probably everything at the spot, but the dude was catching steelhead yesterday. So that's what we're like have in our minds, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we just can hook into something. It's a fish. Yep. Yeah, well, yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Oh my stuck. 
like mother. Oh. What? Dude, it was moving. How do, did I have that much slack line? I reeled in a good bit before I even. Probably found that log. Yeah, I found a log. Well, at least I got this view and my disappointment. Dude, just look at how cool this is. Like, I'm way stepped in the water right now, just surf casting like it's the ocean, but it's Lake Superior and I'm going for steelhead. Literally, you just can't beat. This is the coolest fishing I've ever experienced. And I uh, just, you can't beat it. It really is just something different. Did you see that? Dude, oh my gosh, it's right there. Freaking snap me off. You gotta be joking me, that was a monster. Oh my gosh, Chris. Snap me straight off. Dude, that was a monster. Well guys, I'm gonna update you because I don't know what the heck just happened, but that was the thickest fish I've ever seen and my leader not slipped. So I don't even know, that was literally, I just, I hate losing fish, but when it's your fault, it makes it even worse. And like that was the, the most insane bite I think I've ever had in my entire life. I don't even know what just happened, but it's because of a stupid leader not slip. I can't believe it. Completely my fault, tied a bad knot or something, I don't know. Or these fish are just absolutely insane and just pulled that knot straight off, I don't know, but. I tied it to a swivel this time, a very like heavy rated swivel. So I don't think that should break if I hook up on another one, but at least we caught a fish, or at least we hooked a fish like that. That's That was madness. I was in waist deep, just surf casting the shore of Lake Superior. Definitely the coolest like hookup I've ever had. Although I'm really like upset right now, like, it's festering in me. I'm literally like shaking right now because of what just happened, but let's get back out there, dude. And we're gonna land one. We're gonna land one. Just the worst feeling is it's all just technical issues. It's like things that we could have controlled. That's how you learn, but it sucks to learn this way. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I touched bottom. I'm losing my mind right now, guys. <laughs> so yeah, my uh, leader not slipped, causing me to lose the fish that I wanted to catch so, so bad. And uh, it definitely stings a little. Who am I kidding? It, it definitely stings a lot, especially knowing that it was my fault. Like I tied a bad leader knot or something was wrong with that. It was a technical issue. So that just makes it hurt even that much more. But we're not going to give up quite yet. We're going to go back out there tomorrow morning and try to get some redemption on these fish. Back out on the surf this morning, bright and breezy. I'm feeling good, dude. This is the day we're going to land a steely or a coho, one of the two. I don't really know, but I'm feeling good about this morning, so let's crush them, dude. I'm so hyped right now, it's not even funny. Like, I, I want to feel that hit again. And hopefully this time my gear won't fail me and my own stupidity won't fail me. Yeah. Oh my! Snap my line. Are you, Are you seriously joking me? I have no idea. Do I, do I gotta freaking use a steel leader or something? That's a clean break too. That's not like a a knot failure. You would see little curls if it was a knot fail. Yep. Guys, I'm about to lose my mind right now. If I lose another one of these fish, I just don't get it. The last one my leader broke, this one, this just snapped. I don't know. 
Dude, I wonder if that was a pike or like a muskie or something, guys, because it literally, I didn't even have a chance to like think. It was just, the line broke. And I, I know trout and salmon don't do that. People always use like eight pound liters fishing for steelhead. So, I mean, I have 12, which is even heavier than that. I don't think it should snap that easily. And it's brand new leader, no frays, nothing. Another day, another lost fish. It sucks, it, it, it really does. I can't even describe like what I was feeling in that moment, but like just losing fish after fish, it just hurts and it's a hard pill to swallow. But at least this time it was a clean snap, so it wasn't uh, directly pointed at my fault. I mean, it could have been, but it was a little less of a hard pill to swallow, knowing that it could have been something just like a pike that uh, snapped me clean off like that, which I don't know why a pike would be there, but you never know. I mean, there's just everything in these waterways. But now I have a lot more determination to try to actually make this happen and land on one of these fish, so we're not gonna stop trying. Yeah, I, I just can't leave the spot this morning empty-handed again. I can't. It's gonna just eat me alive. I just wish I would have seen what that was. If it was a pike, I wouldn't be disappointed, but I don't know. It has to be. I actually don't know if that was a fish or if I just hit something, but. Oh, dude, I'm losing my mind right now. I don't know, it didn't really, it didn't hit like everything else hit. I don't think it was a fish, but just, just any bump just gets me going. <laughs> it is now evening and we decided to try a new mouth of a river that we've seen people catch steelhead out of and uh, heard from multiple people up here that this is a really good spot to try. But when we got there, the fishing was the last thing on my mind. All I wanted to do was just take in everything that beautiful spot had to offer. Truly just something like I've never fished at before. Off the north coast of Lake Superior. I, dude, I just, I don't even know what to like, how to describe this stuff. But uh, hopefully we can get a fish in this picture this time. Like I said before, I didn't really even care if we caught a fish, and well, of course we didn't. But this spot was truly the most beautiful fishing spot I have ever been to in my entire life. Lake Superior, my kayak. I'm probably the only person dumb enough to do this, but it's super calm this morning, so I can't help myself, but to just go out to the middle of this bay and just uh, jig for lake trout, I guess. I don't, I don't really know, but we're gonna try. If I hook one up, I might be taking a trip to Canada, which would be sweet, because I have a fish. There's like three other boats on the water, so that's all I need to know, is that there's no boat waves, and it is glass calm right now, so I am just pumped. I'm feeling good, something different. I'm my kayak, I'm in my zone. Dude, I am so hyped right now, and I just, I have so much faith. Dude, this thing is sinking. It is deep right here, that's good. That's what you need to know. Dude, it is still sinking, holy moly. How deep is it here? Like 200 plus feet, probably. Oh my gosh, we just hit bottom. That took a minute. I guess now we just jig? I don't know, maybe. Well guys, they just caught one right next to me while they're trolling bunch of bull crap but guess what that means there's fish here so let's go i'm ready for it dude i'm so ready to hook one out right now literally would be the coolest uh fish catch in my entire life and there's really nothing that could ever beat it i don't i don't see what could beat this <clears throat> today is our last day up here in the up so we came back to the spot that we had all those bites 
and decided to give it one last try. Oh my! I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was a. <laughs> I don't know if it was a fish or if I just bumped something like normal. Probably that. Oh, uh, one last hurrah, guys. Man, it's been tough. I'm not gonna lie. Can't believe I lost all those fish earlier this week. It just the, the thing that eats at me the most is it's because of it's my fault. Like I, the knots that I tied just weren't good. Apparently, I think that's like the first time I've ever had a leader knot slip. So, but you know, you live, you learn, you move on. But each and every experience is something to learn from. There's takeaways, ups and downs. But we'll get one eventually out here. But I'm catching a steelhead from the surf. That's like now my new goal. So it's gonna happen one day or another. Might not be this year, might not be next year, but it's gonna happen. Well, that's where she ends. The surf casting mission comes to a close, but man, I'm just super happy that I was able to connect on a few fish. Like that was absolutely insane, that one bite I had. I don't know what it was, but it was a crazy big fish, crazy sweet fight. And that just got me hooked on the whole world of like steelhead and salmon and stuff. Cause the way that thing pulled was unlike anything else before. So that was absolutely wild. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to land any of them, but you know, it's still just such a cool experience to be able to come out here and do this stuff, just something new. And to be able to even hook a fish, uh, that says a lot. Like knowing absolutely nothing about any of this stuff and coming up here and hooking a fish was definitely something to be noted. That was uh, that was pretty awesome. Well, we, we got one more video. The series isn't gonna end here yet. Uh, this is definitely more in my realm of knowledge. So hopefully it's gonna be a sweet video, but you're gonna have to stay tuned. So just subscribe so you don't miss the next one because I hope it's gonna be a heater. But if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Holy mother of pearl, that's a muskie. Literally a muskie's right in front of me right now. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. A muskie just surfaced right in front of me. Uh oh, can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know.